hey guys welcome again to my youtube channel this is anywhere roommate content queen if you're new here it is so nice to meet you before you leave don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share and subscribe to my youtube channel Hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to today's tutorial video in my last video i showed you how to use telegram group to host your online courses especially if you don't have money to pay for any learning management system and that video was made specifically for small business owners freelancers course creators and trainers people basically who just want to try their hands on something new and cannot afford to use any learning management system so if you've not seen that video or if you skipped that video and you want to watch this one it's fine but i feel like it's going to be beneficial to you if you watch that video first before coming down here because that's basically like the part one and this is the part two so that video talked about how to use telegram to host the online courses prevent people from sharing you know your content in your training but today's video i'm going to be showing you the different methods you can use to host your online courses or your training on telegram so in my last video i talked about how you can restrict sharing content in your telegram group and i also talked about the difference between um a telegram group and a telegram channel you want to check that out but i'm just going to show you again how to restrict content if you're just coming here so you have a telegram group you created a telegram group and you want to restrict content and i'm going to tell you why you need to restrict content click on edit you click on group type once click on group type you see restrict saving content so restrict saving content just stops people who want to copy save or forward content from your group like it doesn't allow them to do that all right so now that we've had that sorted out because it's going to really help you the next thing you want to know is how what, what are the different methods what, what are the things i can do in my in on in telegram all right if i have a telegram group and i'm hosting courses what can i do how do i teach people what methods can i use so you can decide to use text method in the sense that you probably prepared the content for your teaching that day in maybe your evernote or your sticky notes or microsoft Word or wherever and you just copy and paste and send to your student or you could decide to do a voice recording by pressing on this button here or you could decide to um share audio so when you click here you have your gallery there's there are a lot of things you you know want to share and you can just click on it so i'm just going to show you a couple of things and show you what you can do on telegram and how crazy using telegram is like i don't know why people have not discovered this yet so I've selected three pictures and then you can rearrange those pictures you can rearrange the content okay so when you click on these three selected you can decide which one you want to come first if you have probably prepared training slides and you don't want to share your screen probably you just want to share your training slides and then you go live later like live audio just like you have in clubhouse or facebook live audio you can decide to do that so you can rearrange and just tap on it and drag it's going to rearrange automatically for you all right so when you're done you click done and you click send you click on this button you can send as files you can group them or you can ungroup them it's just left to you all right so if you decide to ungroup them they will not be arranged the way you want them to send and you just send them with a caption or with whatever um you could also decide to go to your gallery or you could decide that oh okay you want to send a file so you click on file and every single file you have you just know where to pick them from that's if you have pdf or a lead magnet or whatever thing you want to share so um i'm just going to tap on this one here and it's going to send there or you could decide that you want to create a poll now a poll is really important if you are um hosting a course or you're training on telegram because you want people to be able to answer questions so 
if you create a poll probably you're asking uh, okay what time do you guys want our saturday training to hold you ask your question there and you can just you know put in your answer one maybe put in the options 1 p.m 3 p.m you know just put, or you can just drag them how you want you understand that so you can just do that and you can also do anonymous voting if you don't want obviously people would know when you create the post so you could just remove if you, um, the anonymous voting voting button if you don't want that to happen and then if you want multiple answers you could also do that if you wanted to be anonymous you could and then if you want to create a quiz it's very important you could you can do a quiz all right like this is actually another fun way to keep a group going so once you've asked maybe you have a redo and then there are answers there you just you know put in the options and then you put the right answer here so under explanation you just put in the right answer and users will see these comments if they choose a wrong answer all right so this is really really amazing and you can use use it for anything you want okay so i'm just going to send this poll just so that you see what it looks like oh okay i didn't type a question what time do you want today's class to hold okay so i'm just going to send that poll and you can see it's an anonymous poll because i made it anonymous so if anybody clicks on an answer it just records it and the reason i can see all these things is because i'm the one who created the group so if i want to end this poll all you need to do or you want to end this poll all you need to do is just to hold it down and then you see stop poll you can retract your vote or you can delete the poll entirely or you can pin the poll it just depends on whatever you want to do okay so you can see here down here copying and forwarding is not allowed in this group which is actually what you want and why you have that is because you have already restricted saving content okay so now let's go to the meat of today's matter but before we do that if you've not liked my video please like my video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel don't break my heart so that we're able to create more content more helpful content for you guys okay and let me know in the comments if you also have other questions or you have other tutorial videos you want me to do for you okay so let's go to the meat of the matter so i'm going to click on this heading here and then you would see voice chat you would see mute now if you mute your group it means you will not get any notifications when notifications come in and you don't want that in fact anytime people join your group one of the instructions you want to give them is that they should unmute the notification so that whenever an announcement is passed in the group they don't miss out and then come back blaming you or crying wolf later so when you click on video chat you have options it's going to ask you how do you want to display yourself do you want to display yourself as your name of course your, your personal telegram account or you want to display yourself as the trainer of this group so let's say i'm just going to go with display myself as like the group like the owner of the group and then it's asking me to start video chat or schedule video chats okay so here's what's going to happen i'm going to click on start video chats so we we have start video chats it's connecting once it's connected it's going to turn green all right all right so i'm currently muted meaning like you can't hear me as i'm speaking right now all right so when you click on those three buttons there um it's going to show you the whole settings so you can edit the your video chat title you can share your screen you can even record your session you can edit permissions so when i click on edit permissions it's going to show me if new participants who join the group can speak or if they are muted um edit video chat title so it depends on the topic so if for instance the topic for today is content marketing just write content marketing or content writing let's say content writing so it has been edited to content writing and say for instance i want to share my screen or i want to record 
i'll just all i need to do just to click on this star recording when i click on that it's going to show me if i want a portrait or landscape if i want it to be video and audio or only audio so it just depends on what you want so because this particular class is not a video class yet you can just choose only audio and why telegram is so amazing is because once you start recording once you are done with your training everything is done telegram helps you save it automatically to a folder called saved messages and because you renamed it you it would save as that name okay so telegram is really good and people should take advantage of it more so if i want to share my screen what i need to do is just to click on this share screen button here and it's going to show me everything it's going to ask me what i want to share so i'm currently using my screen recorder to record as so you can see this but if you are not doing that um you can actually share whatever i want to share so you just click on let the, the um what i will advise you is if you're using your phone let only the screen you want to share let that be the only screen that's currently open okay so you just tap tap it and you know you keep on going that but i normally use my laptop to do my telegram training and like i said telegram um desktop works the same way as the mobile app so when you share your screen it's better for you to share a particular window don't share the whole screen just share a particular window and just you know keep on doing what you do just like you would share with zoom so this is basically um what you can do with telegram group so if you want to end this video chat all you need to do is tap on it and then click leave so you can invite your members if probably they've not joined you can just invite them when you click leave you can either leave the video chat if there are other people there talking and you want to leave you just leave or you can end the video chat and it has ended now because i did not record anything it's not going to save anything or save anywhere for me so this is basically all you can do with telegram and like i said telegram is a really amazing platform like people should not sleep on telegram like don't sleep on it so if you found this video helpful let me know in the comments that you found it helpful um let me also know what you would want me to create for you but i think my next tutorial video would be on how you can get a corporate account in nigeria in just 24 hours trust me it's mind-blowing like extremely mind-blowing if you know how nigerian banking system works and how difficult it can be to get a corporate account then you want to watch out for my next video you want to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification button so that when the video drops in you will be one of the first people to know so thank you so much for watching my video please don't forget to like this video share and subscribe until i come your way next time bye thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to my youtube channel also let me know what you want to learn from me next in the comments